Okay, you've touched on a very interesting area there. It's a bit of a perfect storm, really, getting a UTI after menopause. We see that women are more likely to get infections, such as UTIs, than men are. The lifetime risk of getting a UTI if you're a woman is somewhere between 50 and 60 percent. Unfortunately, young women um, unfortunately, young women don't get quite so many, and unfortunately, postmenopausal women get far, far higher numbers of UTIs than the premenopausal women. This is partly because of the lack of estrogen. Going back to anatomy, the bladder and the vaginal tissues right at the very beginning when the baby was being made and it was an embryo, were derived from the same tissues. And the base of the bladder still remains hormonally dependent. Oestrogen is its lifeblood. In the same way that the vulva and the vaginal tissues will deteriorate if they are deprived of oestrogen, so will female bladder tissues. Therefore, if we can draw an analogy, it's like a new brick wall becomes an old brick wall that needs repointing. Luckily, if we use oestrogen, that does repoint the old brick wall. And we have seen from studies that using oestrogen, even local oestrogen, not taking full body HRT, just hormone cream applied twice weekly into the vagina, can actually feed the bladder tissues as well as feeding the vaginal and vulval tissues. It can increase the bladder's immunity against infection. It can even make uh, the bladder produce antimicrobial proteins, that's germ-killing proteins that actually cleave the bacteria, burst the bacteria, as well as making the bladder tissues far more robust and resistant to becoming infected in the first place. So